Thank you. 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 You know, it's about us playing the way that Sacred Heart wants to play and the way that we need to play. Um, mighty funny, at the end of the season, when it's time to win, or it's time to make a run in Birmingham, now all the people that we don't see at the beginning of the season, when it's time for us to run sprints, when it's time for us to do our preseason conditioning, when it's time to do it, we don't see anyone. But when it's time to end or lose a win, then you see everybody and everybody want to know What's the feeling behind it? Of course, nobody ever wants to lose. You know, that's 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 part of it. Um, and that's a pill that you always have to swallow. Um, I thought our kids handled it with a great deal of class. Never did you hear out of all that adversity that we had all season, lining up junior high kids, losing your leading scorer, leading rebounder, losing Jaden Stone, losing Caleb Brown. Um, Never did you hear our program or anybody from our program, from coaches, administrators, players, oh, they were recruited to go somewhere else. They were, they, um, they beat us by 35 today. Oh, they beat us because they did this. No, they beat us today because they beat us. They are a senior led group. He returned every player in the starting five and the first six from last year. And they are a senior heavy group with 11 seniors on the team. And here we are trying our best and our kids are fighting their hearts out, trying to play to the best of their ability. And, you know, tonight it was just a little a little bit quicker than us to the ball. You know, a little bit, like every time with a, a long rebound, anything come out, they got it to us. They got to it before we did. And, you know, and that could be a lot of the hunger that they have. But, you know, I mean, like I said, I, I'm, I'm really proud of our guys for, you know, what they've invested in the program. Um, Kate, Jack, Allen, Tayshawn. Even the younger kids, you know, those kids, like I said, they never complain. They come to practice every day. They work hard every day. They do um, what you – they try to do their, to the best of their ability what you ask them to do. And that's all you can ask for as a coach. When you got the technical early, was that about trying to fire these guys up and rally them a little bit? Or oh, no. That, that Man, I've been doing that for the, the whole time I've been here. The whole time I've been here, you know what I mean? So if they were get in your box, get in your box, get in your box. Man, the box is to control you. I had two toes on the court. You know what I mean? But that, that's part of it, though. You know, the referee, he, he had to make, he had to do his job. And if that's the rule, he called it. That's part of it. So, you know, you just take it. You take your technical foul and you sit down and you just basically sit down and coach from there. When uh, when they had full, I think they had 11 points someplace in the second quarter, I think. But you guys made a nice little run to get back to within seven. Um, so there was, there's, there's fight in there all the way through. What did you think of that stretch where – uh, where you got it back to seven, and I think I think you missed a couple of shots, and then they stretched it back up. But in, in that instance, there was, you know, there, there was obviously there was a fight there, and there was all the way through. But that was the closest that you had come to to challenging them. Yeah, of course. Um, you, you, I mean, we still sacred your heart now. You know, that's what you got to understand. I mean, if you really think you're gonna play us, and you really think we're gonna lay down. That's not going to happen. I'm not going to lay down. So I know they – I'm not going to let you lay down. That's just the way it is. Um, you keep playing to the whistle and, you, and, the, and the game is over with. And whatever happens, happens. You know what I mean? You don't want no blemish on your character to show no weakness, that you're not tough, that you're, that, that you're a quitter, that you're none of that. And our kids didn't display that. And the coaches aren't going to display that. And we don't want anybody in the Sacred Heart program, that's including fans, administrators, anybody showing that kind of behavior. So um, with, with us – it's all hard here, you know, and 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 we just pick our chins up, take it to the chin, our guys that we're losing, you know, and we just tell them in the locker room, you know, you have to take these lessons and you have to take them and and and, and put them into life. I mean, I lost my last high school game February 14th on Valentine's Day, 2003, and I still remember, and I cried just like these guys here. But then 15, 12, 15 years later, I become a problem. The ball stopped, and then I became a problem. You see what I'm saying? So that's part of it. You take those lessons that you learn, and you put them into something else. These guys go on to college, you know what I mean, get get their careers going, and guess what? This loss will be the driving force for what they do, and some of the wins will also. Will, will, will the players speak to what next week going to be like for you now 
because you guys are used, you have been used to going to Birmingham, and you have, and this obviously is where that road stops. What, how odd will it kind of be for y'all because you're used to that experience? How hollow will it be? What do you think? I don't really think it will be that hollow. It'll just be another school week for me. Speak up to me. It'll just be another school week for me. Um, it would probably be a little weird because I've every single year of my high school career, I've gone to Birmingham by my intent when we have really, really good teams with Deontay Wood, DJ Heath. Um, it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be an adjustment, but just like Coach Charles says, like you just gotta take on the chin and keep moving. <coughs> to Jack, can you remember that? Can you speak to what next week's gonna be for y'all? Same thing, Kay said. To Jack and, and, and Kate especially, you you both got pretty emotional at the end there. Just can you kind of speak to what your thoughts were at that moment and then just kind of what it's meant to you to be part of what you've been a part of at Sacred Heart? Um, yeah, um, I came out like not you know, like two, two minutes and it just hit me that it was my last um, basketball game. And this meant everything to play at Sacred Heart and Play the coach out. I never thought I would be here. Jack. Um. Yeah. Uh. I've been here my whole life. Um. I've I've invested my heart and soul into this program, and um. It didn't like. Honestly, it didn't feel real like when, like when I got took out. Like whenever um I went to shake Coach Charles' hands, he looked me in the eye, and I just lost it because then I realized what it was. And I've been playing for um I've been blessed to play for Coach Charles my um my whole basketball career. He's a great coach and he's an even better man. There's not the basketball coach and coach at all. There isn't. <sighs> Ralph, will you go or the boys go next week to go watch? I know you like basketball, so I would assume you're going to go to the Final Four because you're a basketball guy. Will you go? Yeah, I am going. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what it takes to win it. And... You know, one of, one of the, and when I go over there, you know, you know, I, you just learn from what other people do, you know, and you have the experience. Um, you know, I, and, and I think LaFayette will win it. Um, would y'all want anybody else to win it besides them? No, you know, we, 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 we'll pull, we'll pull for them. Um, and, and, and that's the thing. So, you know, you just, I will go over there and we'll watch some basketball and see what it is. And, and hopefully I have a couple of guys with me and we go over. I actually want the team, if we can actually go over. We probably can't go over and watch the um, the championship game because the championship game would be like early in the morning. But we can go watch a Final Four game or something like that. And, um, you know, it'll be really big for us and, and it'd be good lessons to be learned there. And, you know, you just, root, you just root for good basketball all the time, you know. And I just think the biggest, like I said, the, the biggest lesson we take out of this is you know, we got to get back to work. We got to get back to the lab. And, and at Sacred Heart, again, we do not believe in more victories here. We don't. And if you do believe in that, you cannot play here. As long as as long as I'm here, you can't. You can, we can't believe in that. And I just want to make sure that everybody don't get amnesia when them young guys grow up, because that's what happened last time when those seventh and eighth and ninth graders grew up. And all of a sudden, they get to hanging off the rim because they grew up. Because now they're a senior group, and now all of a sudden it's all, it's, a, it's a huge problem. And 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 what I got what I'm telling you is you're looking out on the court, and I'm looking at 22, and I'm like, man, that's an eighth grader. The ball bounced by him. A senior beat the eighth grader to the ball. He's supposed to beat him to the ball, but you're trying to get the eighth grader to believe that he still can't beat you to the ball. And and, and it's just some things you just can't you can't teach. You know what I mean? But that's part of the process. You know what I mean? Especially when you well, how many kids we have on the team? Eleven. 11 and five of them are junior high players. And those five kids, <laughs> four of them was in the first eight.